Alex, I'm Luther, and I'm, this is my prep profile. Well, ben, you're a multiple sport athlete with football, wrestling, and track. How did you become involved in a lot of different sports, and what do you like about it? Um, just something I've always loved to do. It was just playing in the backyard. Like, you know, I used to live uh, on the hill um, right behind Lakeside, so I always was playing with my brothers and stuff. And just always loved football and wrestling. My dad was the head coach on the varsity team for a while and really started picking stuff up from the high school wrestlers at just a young age. Track just kind of picked that up in like seventh or eighth grade or something like that. Just trying to throw. And <laughs> Do you have a favorite sport or is it depends on the season? No, it's, um, it's definitely football. But, um, wrestling's a lot of fun too, but um, football is just a, more of a team sport. I just love that. So much fun playing football. <laughs> How are those two sports compatible, wrestling and football, for you? Um, well, they're both really tough sports, actually. Like, uh, just like in wrestling, it's one on one. You win versus another guy, and then in football, you got just series of one on one. But just every player on the team has got that too. So. Do you have a most inspirational teammate uh, in any of the sports? Yeah, I'd say in football, um, Jason's wife was my most inspirational teammate because uh, like he lost his brother um, just in his sophomore year, I think, and then he came back and he was playing and he was like the defensive MVP of the league and stuff and he's just a really good guy and he was always a hard worker and yeah, look up to him. Kind of inspired you to, uh -huh. to do better. Yeah, and he wrestles too, and he's always pushing me to do better than I can. Great guy. Uh, I said favorite opponent in football, Lodi, and you have a favorite opponent in wrestling. Yeah, um, wrestled him at uh, state semifinals last year. Newton Smartcheck from Luxembourg, Casco. And, uh, he's a real good opponent, but um, I got hit with. Two lateral drops in the match against him in the semifinals, and if I hadn't been hit by that, I think the match could have been a lot different because it would have been closer. Ended up losing 12-5 in uh, three periods. So. Kind of inspire you for to get back to state yep, this year. Yep, definitely. <laughs> um, favorite fast food or restaurant? Old Country Buffet. Is that a football yeah. player you like? You like to go back for more? Huh? Uh -huh, yeah, um, that's kind of like a tradition on the football team too. Like the whole team will go to the Old Country Buffet and then we'll all eat there and everyone eats a ton and it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> Who's the biggest eater? Sometimes they say it's not the big guys, the linemen. It might be that little defense, uh, running back or defensive back. Yeah, well on our team it's me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I eat the most. <laughs> yeah, favorite food? Um, no, there you can just get everything in. But I mean, ice cream is probably my favorite thing. Like I'll just get plates of ice cream sometimes, just fill it all up with ice cream. <laughs> but a big frame, you got a lot to fill up, right? Yeah. Um, what uh, What do you like most about sports or uh, at, at Lakeside? What I guess when you look back over your career, what do you remember most about competing here? Um, I really think it's just uh, doing your best in everything that you can. Um, and then Lakeside, we have our common faith and uh, just really, really good uh, – be on a team that you know everyone believes the same things as you do, and um, yeah. You, I feel like uh, with student athlete, there there really is something to the term student athlete. There's the combination, and mm -hmm. that one uh, feeds off the other. Yeah, um, definitely. Like student athlete, we're always taught here that uh, student comes first, then athletics. But um, I think it's really good uh, work in all aspects of your life. I guess just student, athlete, and everything out of school, too. So, now, you mentioned your dad was a uh, wrestling coach here. Yep. Uh, was he a wrestling coach when you were wrestling? Or no, before? Never, it was before I was here. But. And, but, and he was also, was he principal? or? He was a uh, vice principal. Vice principal. What's it like to have a parent involved in the school system? Was that was that a plus growing up for you? Um, growing up, yeah, it definitely was. Because um, like, I just got to... Uh, pretty much do everything I wanted on Lakeside property, <laughs> so could, I could go play baseball on the baseball field or go on the football field, just do whatever I wanted, and then um, 
I don't know how it would be if he was still here. Um, <laughs> it'd be a lot different, I think. <laughs> that, Greg Davis made the comment that you guys kind of grew up in the gym and, yeah. and around here, and he said he wants to come back and be a coach. And you want to be a coach and a teacher, I understand it. Yeah. Uh, what would you like to go into, and can you see yourself back here? Yeah, I would love to uh, be back here someday. Um, really want to go into, like, maybe history or Bio class and then speech class, kind of motivated by one of our teachers here. So, oh, who's that? <laughs> um, Mr. Keel. He uh, he's one of my favorite teachers for sure. And just his class is always fun. And I like it a lot. You realize how important one teacher can be in your academic yeah. career and uh -huh. motivate you. And you like to be that person someday. Uh huh. Yeah, definitely. Um, it involves a lot of activities, uh, student body president, the school choir, and uh, which most, I guess, your favorite volunteer activity that you're involved in? Um, well, I'd say probably like the youth wrestling camps and stuff like that, that I uh, help out with that. Um, just a lot of fun to see these little kids going at it. <laughs> they kind of intimidated to see this uh, yeah, big guy come in and tell them, hey, I was where you were one uh -huh. time. <laughs> so you feel like you got a lot of... Uh, Little brothers following you around. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it's, it's a weightlifting hobby, uh, being funny. <laughs> so, so I think you have a good sense of humor, or, or you, yeah. you, you, you guy likes to play practical jokes on teammates. Kind of like a class clown here, I guess I'd say. Um, yeah, <laughs> get a lot of laughs. And do uh, uh, you have any plans as far as the college at this point? Um, I'm not sure. I'm getting talked to by some D1s and D2s about playing football. So hopefully that, or if that doesn't work out, I'll probably go to Martin Luther College. That's where like my family's gone, and there I can become a high school coach and a teacher and stuff like that. So that's what I want to do. Did you have a dream school growing up, a college? Well, that I always you wanted see? to go to Wisconsin and play football. So. Have you gone to their camps yeah, and things like that? Okay. So is there any interest there? Or? Yeah, there's interest. I mean, I've been getting letters for a year or so and talked to Bob Bosa at the, my recruiting coach and stuff. So on, on a football Saturday, you're playing Friday nights on a football Saturday, you're watching the Badgers? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Facebook, you said favorite website, Facebook. Uh, are, you, are you a social media kind of guy? Are you into... The networking, the cell phone, and all that stuff. Yeah, a little bit. Um, go on Facebook a couple times a day and stuff like that. So not like too too much into it, but definitely go on that site more than anything else. I know uh, a few years ago, wrestling became really big with the chat rooms. Do you communicate with a lot of your opponents or teammates that way, or? Um, not really. No. <laughs> kind of let that uh, let the uh, actions on the mat speak. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> all right. Well, Ben, uh, congrats on a great senior year so far, and I hope you, uh, you got a chance to go to state and, and wrestling again.